Now, your Way 31 Storm Tracker forecast. I just love how everybody here in the newsroom is basically trying to wear some shade of red. Like I have on my red pants, you got your red dress, you can't see Amber, but she has on red too. Right. I think we just want the heat to come back. Is that what no. you were going for? Oh, that's what I was going for. <laughs> I don't want the heat to come back, but you may want the heat to come back. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a little bit warmer today than what we were over the last couple of days, but okay. it's still going to feel relatively comfortable, a little bit like fall. High temperatures today are going to be in the low 80s once again, but maybe a degree warmer than yesterday. We're still going to see lots of sunshine, but today we're also going to need to see those gusty winds. We could see winds uh, or gusts up to 25 miles an hour today, so something to keep in the back of your mind. But again, those winds are going to be from the north, so we're going to be feeling that cooler air, making it feel very comfortable outside. Again, here's a look at those wind gusts that are going to be most prominent over uh, in late afternoon. Again, 20 to 25 mile an hour wind gusts are possible. So again, something to keep in the back of your mind if you're going to be out walking the dog or doing any after school activities. Over the next couple of days, we'll stay relatively calm as well as pretty. We'll be at 83 degrees tomorrow, both Thursday and Friday in those mid 80s once again. Friday, though, Clouds will start to build in ahead of our next weather maker, which is going to bring the rain that we do desperately need across the Tennessee Valley. It's going to be a strong cold front that's going to push through. It's going to again bring those showers, maybe a few strong storms possible, something we're definitely keeping our eye on. Some threats with this again, that's going to be the damaging wind up to 50 to 60 miles an hour, as well as localized heavy rainfall and that light chance or low chance rather to see a uh, brief spin up tornado. It's never a 0% possibility in the Tennessee Valley. So again, something we're keeping our eyes on. This is a look at one of our longer range models. So as we get closer to the weekend, we'll be able to pinpoint the timing, but this is just an idea of what when or when we can expect it. This is about Saturday at 1030. We'll start to see some of that rain come towards the shoals eventually by 6 a.m. covering all of us here in the Tennessee Valley. Again, heavy rainfall, gusty winds could be accompanying the strongest of storms by 3 p.m. on Sunday. We're still dealing with rainfall, but the heaviest of the rainfall is over to the state of Georgia and then by the overnight hours will be dry once again seeing those clear skies behind the cold front bringing much more cooler air will be back into the 70s but those 70s are going to be the mid 70s so cooler than what we saw last week by Tuesday will be in the upper 70s before Wednesday we start to drop back to the mid 70s and Thursday we're actually going to be even cooler than that Let's take a look at the tropics. This is Tropical Storm Lorenzo still spinning at about uh, 45 miles an hour, so it is decreasing in strength. It's going to take that turn off into the Atlantic, so it's not going to affect anyone other than the fish. Uh, so definitely not something we're going to have to worry about in the Tennessee Valley. We're calm right now on 31 triple Doppler 1122 on your Tuesday morning. Going through the afternoon will gradually warm into those low 80s by the late afternoon hours, dropping to the mid 70s as we approach the dinner time hours. We'll have that gradual will warm up as we head into late week 85 degrees both Thursday and Friday those overnight lows those also start to increase as well. So you'll still need that light jacket, but it won't be as cool as what we've been seeing over the past couple of days. Rain comes back into the forecast as we go into Saturday night, especially into Sunday morning when we'll have a chance to see some of those stronger storms. Again, heavy rainfall and gusty winds are going to be the primary threats. Heading into next week will be a whole lot cooler and we'll be back into those mid 70s. Stick with us. We'll be right back.